Hi, uh, welcome to another demo, an offset. Um, this one is um, going. To, we're going to show you how to take the image that the images that you've uh, correctly uh, prepped and saved, and we're going to show you how to start laying those out in Illustrator. And um, you can see that um, in this uh, folder. Um, I have a collection of photos. Uh, some of these are images I took from the internet and I've um, saved them correctly, put them in the correct mode. Um, they're 8 bit channel. Um, I have some drawings as well, some line work. And um, once you've done that, you want to see what they will start to look like once we start laying them out. So um, there's one more than one way to uh, approach and, and prepare your files, but um, I like to um, have out an illustrator and just sort of having that separation where Photoshop is where we clean up our images and prep them up and Illustrator is the program we like to use to just lay out and and look at our colors and see what we have so I'm gonna open up Illustrator And we'll get started uh, plugging in our Pantone colors and just seeing what what our images will start looking like and sort of making choices. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to File and we're going to go New. And you'll notice here uh, in the Width and Height area, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the document size we're going to be working with. So uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to be using the larger press sheet, the larger Hamada press sheet, which is uh, 13 by 18 and a quarter. But uh, the document size, you can, you know, it's a bit smaller to allow for printer's marks. And what we're going to do is uh, just plug it in. I've already done that. So uh, marking landscape. Um, you know, if you wanted to change it, of course, uh, you could just click that. It's very easy. So uh, I'm going to work, uh, you know, 16 and a half and by 12 and that's the document size for the larger press sheet so we click OK um, and then uh, we see our document size with our bleed um, so I'm going to start placing images so I'm going to go to file place I'm going to select my photo and I'm going to place it um, and in Illustrator with a select tool I can move I can place my image where I'd like I can scale it um, you know, but this looks pretty good to start. Um, so what we want to do is uh, we want to get our Pantone colors out and under Window we go to Swatch Libraries Color Books Pantone Solid Matte. That will uh, open up our Pantone books and uh, if you notice this drop menu um, the show find field is already open, but sometimes it isn't. Just click on that. And this allows you to uh, plug in your Pantone colors. You can key them in. So if I key in 181, uh, you will see that it's got a little highlight around it. If I was to click on that, uh, it changes the image color. Now, if uh, a scenario is, like, say that your image was there and it didn't change, Typically, the culprits are uh, incorrect uh, mode, uh, maybe saved as a Photoshop file and not a TIFF or a JPEG. So you can always go back and double check in Photoshop, make sure that your modes are correct. Uh, but in this case, we know it's working well. So I'm just going to pick a color. I'm going to pick this, this green. Um, and now I'm going to place another image. So I go to File, Place. And uh, I'm going to take the line work and place it on top. I'm going to scale it a little bit, have it overlap. So the tendency for um, Illustrator when you start placing images on top of other images is that the image on top will automatically knock out the information below to preserve that line quality. So um, if we're going to mix these, and let me just pick a color, maybe something a bit strong. Uh, I'm going to pick this red. Um, so right now, you, but say that you want to see a mix, um, every layer that you add, you'll have to tell it 
to mix or not. So we go to Window, and we go to Attributes. It will open up the dialog box, and um, you notice that it has an overprint fill button, but you know if you click on it, you're not going to see it mix. So what we'll have to do is you'll go to View, Overprint Preview, and when you click on that, you see them mixing, and now you see them not mix. So for everything you lay in, you could just let it mix or not. So in this case, I'd like that to mix, and we can see it mixing together. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's very basic, but it's a nice way you could just start seeing your colors. You could start plugging in different, different Pantones, making your decisions, and trying to figure out what's going to work best. Um, but while we're here, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about font. So say that we want to introduce text, and I'm going to just make that a little bigger and just type, uh, put some type in. So once we have our text, and say I scale it, uh, whether it's a book, um, um, you know, just uh, you know, any any kind of font. It's the same thing. Um, you can take your font, you can pick a color, uh, you know, plug in your Pantone, and um, same deal. We could have it mix, not mix. In this case, I like it bold. I'm not. I'm going to tell it not to. But say that this is our image. It's complete. It's ready to go to press. Um, before we do that, just want to go. Just remember to go to um, type and um, you want to create outlines and what that does is that it turns that font into an object so um, if you're working with different types of fonts um, it will you know make it into an object so that when we open it up on our system um, we're not going to be missing fonts or have any kind of uh, you know um, printing issues so um, anyways this is a basic uh, layout for Illustrator and um, we'll follow up uh, with other uh, file prepping techniques.